Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Hope you're having a fantastic week. It is Friday. It is the end of the week, and this is going to be a Raid Shadow Legends video going over all of the craziness happening in-game this weekend. We've got some crazy news, the fourth anniversary gift, uh, an opportunity to get all four of the legendary starting champions. We've got a Raid Digest news post. We've got 2X Sacreds and a bunch of 2X events going on in-game. We have also finally got the calendar for planning our route to acquiring Super Supreme Elaine uh, via her fragment events. We can lay that out and I'll let you know if there's anything noteworthy to talk about in there so you can plan effectively. And then we got to go over the Champion Chase tournament. It's going to be live this weekend to make sure that you're on pace for finishing Supreme Elaine and react to being able to get all four starting champions as legendary. So lots to cover in this one. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, Plarium did put this out on their official Discord server. This is going to be the Raid Digest type announcement post, and I'll kind of skim through it and give you the highlights. But first off, they talk about this fourth anniversary collection. So on the occasion of the fourth anniversary, all four starter champions, Gaelic, Aethel, Elaine, Kale, uh, can be acquired via legendary versions. If you happen to collect all four during the period of the anniversary celebration, which will last until the 9th of April. So about exactly one month. It's, it's March 10th right now. So exactly one month, about April 9th, is when this is going to wrap up. You'll get some extra bonus gifts. They're pretty lame. You don't need to get too hyped about that part of it. So watch out for special events that could help you get them. That means... Probably one or two of them are going to be like guaranteed summit events, you know, pull X amount of sacreds or X amount of ancients to go after um, Supreme K or, or, or whatever. And I bet you that one or two of them are going to be guaranteed summit events, you know, pull 100 voids for Supreme KO. Obviously, they're all void champions. I've made that mistake like once or twice. It's because their starter versions are magic affinity. I, I always think like you can pull ancients and sacreds to get them, but you can't. They would obviously be a void event. So I, I, at least one of them is going to be some sort of guaranteed void event. I'm sure of it. Uh, and then I, I don't know what the other... So you've got like, you've got like Elaine for fragments and let's say they do like Supreme Gaelic for 100 voids or something. I wonder how they're going to do the other two. We'll have to kind of wait and see. We don't know behind the scenes how they're going to structure these four different champions and their anniversary events to get all four. And then this next paragraph right here, this talks about the Raid Chronicle video. I actually tried to show my Raid Chronicle video yesterday in the Raid wrap-up video, but uh, when I uploaded it, I got copyright struck by YouTube, so I couldn't send it. I had to delete that part of the video. <laughs> so whatever, something something procced the copyright on my Raid Chronicle video. So I am down to show you my stats so you can compare. I'll probably upload that as like a short little video uh, for those of you that want to see my stats after four years of playing. Playing raid and compared to me I'm happy to show you I just couldn't do it yesterday because the video got copyright strike and then they've got a, a little section right here talking about some stuff in the hard dungeons and uh, they're saying that mythical artifacts are not triggering like tournament points and stuff like that but they are going to address that and fix it something to keep in mind though and then also that the clan quests uh, about raiding dungeons uh, higher than 10 is not really working as intended because you know obviously the hard dungeons are harder than dragon 25 like dragon 10 hard is harder than dragon 20 uh, but the stage numbers are different so they've got to fix how that is kind of functioning in game and then also there is a bug with spiderlings either like not proccing bonus damage on the boss and stuff like that so they have to address some of these bugs in the hard spider then this section right here is about Ileal and a fix coming to him where his uh, where his his Pierce the Carapace uh, ability isn't properly ignoring stone skin like it's supposed to. I guess I don't have Ileal, but uh, for those of you that have him, he is getting a slight adjustment here to hopefully make him a little bit more effective. And then this is big news right here. We have got the special anniversary CVC tournament coming up here in just a few days on Tuesday. So definitely start preparing for that. It's going to not only have personal rewards, but it is also going to have more valuable sets of bonuses than your typical CVC. This is to be expected because it's during the anniversary gift um, event and, uh, and they also skipped the last CVC. So it's not surprising this one's going to come out with a bang. I wonder if they would do something crazy like um, 
like like if your clan uh wins uh everybody gets supreme eighth or something like it's gonna be interesting how they go about these different champions because we're gonna be able to acquire all four of them and as of right now at least or at least from what i've seen uh we only know one of them which is supreme elaine she's a fragment event but we don't know how the other three are going to be acquired but yeah cvc coming up in just a few days on tuesday and it's going to be a pretty important cvc and we can finally see the Fragment event calendar for Supreme Elaine. Now, it looks mostly par for the course. It's 150 Fragments in total. I think we've seen them typically be 155. Uh, but if you minus the 40 here from tournaments and you add this up, you are going to get 110 Fragments available. Now, the most important thing to note in these is always when you have to spend shards for points. And you've got your Champion Chase going on this weekend. That's 15 plus 5. And then next weekend, you've got your summon rush so those two things are going to be the toughest part of the fragment events and the reason you're going to have to do at least one of these pretty all in is because you can't miss more than 10 fragments and you can see uh that up here you'd be missing 15 and down here you'd be missing 20 you can only miss a maximum of 10 so you're going to have to kind of max out one of these uh and get the full 15 or the full 20 and then also do really good on all the other tournaments and events and scooping up everything kind of available I think this weekend is your more guaranteed route because you've got all of the shards that are boosted at 2x, but it would not surprise me if next weekend they have some sort of like 100 voids for Supreme Gaelic event going on. So we may end up, you know that Plarium is going to try to incentivize us to pull shards on every weekend, and it would not surprise me if next weekend is a guaranteed event of some sort. But yeah, there isn't anything like super crazy that we really need to make sure we do a deep dive talk on. The Fragment Event Calendar for Supreme Elaine is mostly what we expected. Just make sure you really prioritize one of the summoning weekends. And in terms of going for her, I don't think she's going to be like this massive duchess, you know, account changer kind of champion. But I do always want to recommend that you chase whatever Void Legendaries you can realistically get. You don't ever want to end up in a situation where you're like, oh, I could have got Supreme Elaine, uh, but I messed up and now I, I you know, I'm never going to have her because she is a Void Legendary. So uh, I would try to complete the Fragments if you've got the resources to do it, but I wouldn't blow up your account or blow up your bank account uh, wailing out if you're not in a position to realistically get her. It's kind of my take on it. Obviously, I'm going to go for her because I'm an endgame player with enough resources to do so. So I'm going to try to uh, to acquire her from the fragments. And then we'll have to see. I'll uh, we'll have to see what the events are for the other three and if it makes sense to go for them or not. Which means that as we transition to the stuff going on in game, obviously the first thing we got to talk about is the champion chase tournament that's going on uh, for the Supreme Elaine fragments. Now, they did, they did us a little bit dirty. It's 3,200, of course. It's not 3,000. Uh, so we've got 3,200 here uh, to complete the fragments and get those 15. And that means it's going to take 12.8 Sacred Shards if you do not get a Legendary. Because if we're pulling Sacred Shards during today for the 2x Sacreds, that means that we have got the, uh, the points here, 250 for Epics. So I've got my calculator here. If you take that 3,200 and you divide it by uh, 250, you get 12.8. So uh, it could could easily take you 13 sacreds if you do not get a legendary obviously if you get a legendary that would help you out a little bit and it would take a little bit less but it's going to take you somewhere between like 8 and 13 sacreds depending on your rng at least it does double dip with 2x sacreds but uh that is what it's going to cost you if you want to finish it this weekend now if you wait for next weekend to do the summon rush it's probably going to be a pretty similar investment to get the 20 uh to get the 20 they're gonna be up for grabs so for me personally i'll probably just rip the 12 or 13 sacreds and uh and complete it this weekend that way i know i'm on pace and i know that next weekend i can skip if i want but you know uh i guarantee you they'll probably end up doing something like a hundred voids for for uh, you know supreme ko or something and then i'll end up having to do both events it, you know it's just it, you know plarian puts us in this conundrum where we don't really know how to plan perfectly so it kind of is what it is you're gonna have to do the best you can on your account in terms of planning but i'm probably just to make sure and play it safe i'm gonna just bite the bullet and i'm gonna i'm gonna pull the damn sacred shards here hopefully uh, i get something game changing on the way with those 12 or 13 sacreds
And then tomorrow there will be a spider tournament that will double dip with the Elaine events as well. And then under the tournament tab, we've got dungeon divers that is currently live in game. So maybe don't go super crazy quite yet on this today. And then also there is an artifact enhancement event starting tomorrow. So if you're going to be upgrading any artifacts, I would wait until tomorrow to do that. So you are getting points for it as well. But also worth noting that there is a 3x event for Savage Gear right now going on today until basically the daily reset or so uh, that happens today. So you can get in there for the next few hours and grind up some Savage pieces in the Fire Knight, hopefully, if you have good RNG and can get them to drop. And it does a double dip with the Dungeon Divers event that is live right now. So you can either dump a bunch of energy today, go after the 3x Savage, or you can wait until tomorrow when the Spider Tournament is live and then do some of your your dungeon divers points just kind of depends on you and what you want to prioritize on your account today and now let's head into the shop and see if there's anything worth deep discussing um so we did get our uh, soul stone wealth pulled out for fun and see what we get um the sacred shards are not good value in my opinion right there um let's see what we got here speed now is not the time to be doing that now this is the one we got to pull in the supreme summon pack so all right let's go 30 right here and then we've got the silver of 750 and then energy of 750 okay uh eight times 20 is gonna be what do we got 160 multi battles okay and then we've got the 75 xp brews and a rank five chicken okay so rank five right there seven ancient shards do 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 do, do. seven and then three voids okay and then one sacred shard and boom what's it grade out to a 1.54 so good not incredible just good so usually anything over a 1.5 is pretty good for the medium to high spenders your low spenders are going to be typically looking for something closer to like a 1.7 1.8 so it's kind of borderline uh but it does make sense for most medium to high spenders to get after this one especially with all of the summon craziness we're going to be happening over the course of the anniversary so grades out is a mostly pretty good pack um the pack string this one's not going to be good it starts out with sacreds for the first yeah no no say a sacred string pack is not going to be uh, a recommend for anybody other than the uh the very high spending tiers hard mode pack um uh, in terms of energy packs, looks decent. This one's probably like a 1.3 or so uh, on the offer calc. Um, I don't think it would be quite as good as like the 1.54 of the Supreme Summon Pack. So that one's at least noteworthy in the shop today and at least decent. And let's uh, YOLO our Immortal Soul Stone that we got from that Baller, uh, the Baller promo code from yesterday. And big rip. Okay, so it did not work out for me. I hope you got something better uh, out of yours. So there we have it. Remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily raid Shadow Legends content. And uh, I'll have to try to go live at some point today and rip some of these sacred shards or something. I haven't had enough time to stream uh, with all the craziness going on and the test servers and with the Diablo uh, stuff with Season 28 and Diablo 3 leading into Diablo 4. Things have just been so crazy. I haven't been able to stream as much as I would normally like to. But hopefully we'll be able to go have a fun stream and YOLO some shards and get after that champion at Chase event and get something impactful ideally and then also remember we've got the cvc starting on tuesday here in just a few days so brace for impact on an important cvc coming up i hope all of you have an amazing rest of your friday i will see you soon in the next video i appreciate all of you peace